today, its ice cap is the single biggest contributor to global sea level rises. In the north of Greenland, people have lived and thrived in one of the world's toughest environments. For local communities, climate change feels close to home, as Adrian Murray reports from the Arctic coastal town of Ilulisat. Giant icebergs the size of city blocks tower over Disco Bay. Galarak Matiasen has been fishing in these icy waters since he was 14 years old. This is your only. Each season is not how it used to be. Over the years, I especially noticed that the icebergs have been getting smaller and weaker. In winter, he used to cross the sea ice with his sled dogs, but it no longer freezes like it used to. So now he only fishes by boat. Of course, I was very worried when I started to notice that the ice barrier was getting weaker and witnessing such an astronomical change in the climate. Galarak still owns more than 30 sled dogs, but keeps them for his son. Here in Alulisat, there's a constant soundtrack of sled dogs howling and barking. Two decades ago, there were 5,000 of them in this town. Now, though, there's only 1,800. Ilulisat means iceberg in Greenlandic, and the nearby fjord is jam-packed with ice that's carved from the Samakorshok or Jakobshavn Glacier, 50 kilometres away. It's an outlet of the Greenland ice sheet, and more icebergs are produced here than anywhere else in the Northern Hemisphere. Skillfully weaving through these floating giants, Georg Jonathanson is a skipper on a tour boat. Even young people like him have witnessed change within their lifetimes. I think this year has been unusual compared to the others. A lot of places in Greenland have uh, records in rain. Nowadays, we never know how the winter is going to be. While some old traditions are slipping away, in many ways, Arctic life has become easier. It's possible to fish year round, and a little set is booming. However, this month, Greenland's ice sheet saw unseasonable melting. And just recently, a group of climate scientists warned that major sea level rise is inevitable. At the moment, it's a system that's in deficit. The amount of snow falling in it can't keep up with the melt and the iceberg carving. What I've come to understand in the last 10 years is that there are really, really abrupt changes going on. Research carried out before the pandemic found that three quarters of Greenlanders felt that climate change had impacted their lives. In the capital nook, I met Aluna Sorensen, a young student and activist. So when you're from Greenland, you're so closely linked to nature and all the changes you see, you see them quite clearly. People do get scared that their future is changing so much, but also their present day. How global warming impacts Greenland will affect all of us, but it's already being felt close to home. Adrian Murray, BBC News, in Lillizette.